Alrighty, hi tonight show, make some noise, Kristen Stallman! Okay, so like, clearly, like I was unprepared to come up, like I was <laughs> chips in my hand. <laughs> Like, how appropriate is it for, like, the fat white chick to have just, like, a couple of chips in her hand? I'll actually <coughs> keep it. I'll just hold on to them. No. Trying to, like, I have chips and a drink and a joint. So it's like one of these yeah. things is going to have to go. So the joint's going to win out. Like, because this is the High Tonight Show, right? What's the point? No, anybody else? Stoner? No? Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Not enough of you are happy about that. You don't want to. <laughs> I think you're doing it wrong. Ow. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> now, like recently, somebody was asking me, like, do you know how to dab? And I was like, I have scars, dude. <laughs> like, I smoked my own skin. Yeah. Um, it's my life. No. Uh, anyone else single in Los Angeles? Woo! Woo! Yeah, you are. It's fucking. Look at where we're at on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> like, nailed it. I was like, nailed it. <coughs> I got a girl for you. Um, no, um, I'm I'm single in Los Angeles and I'm female and a comedian. So like, let's talk about how fucked up all of that is. Like, I have an education, so I should like date guys that are like good on paper. You know, like, I should be dating, like, lawyers and shit like that. I'm, like, fucking dudes I meet in the bar on Sunset on a Saturday night. Like, that's my type. Clearly not tonight. No offense. Um, <laughs> no. Well, like, that's the thing. Is, like, I, I didn't get to be a 35-year-old single female comedian in Los Angeles by not making bad decisions with my vagina. <laughs> I'm just going to point that out. Like, um, I used to live in Europe. Anyone else? No? This is Los Angeles. More of you should have lived in Europe. Um, <laughs> just gonna pass my judgment now. No, I used to live in Europe. So like, I like to think of like, she's a world traveler. So her passport has more stamps than I do. Okay. Like, and people are always like, "What do you mean?" I was like, "I used to date this German guy. He was fucking awesome." Like one night we were having sex, and like I was getting banged in the forehead with a crucifix. And like I'm from Oklahoma, so like I had a little moment. I was like, oh my god. And he was like, what? And I was like, he thought he'd done something really good. He didn't. I was just like, oh my god. What do you think Jesus would think right now if he saw what we were doing? Because I was super into Jesus when I was a kid. He was like, he stopped like mid thrust. And he was like, well, Jesus is all about love. And what we are doing right now is showing love. <laughs> and then he just like proceeded to go at it. But like it was a really heavy crucifix and I had a bruise for like a week. <laughs> so it was like the most religious experience I've ever had in bed. And like I fucked people that are literally reverends, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Ew, you went there. No, I'm from Oklahoma. My type is like guys that cheat on their wives. Yeah. <laughs> like I've definitely slept with somebody who was like the pastor at one of those super churches. Damn. And then, like, another ex-boyfriend of mine was like, I found God, and I want to apologize for all of my bad behavior. And I was like, yeah, what church are you going to? And he told me, I was like, yeah, I fucked your pastor. Like, um, <laughs> as I said, my vagina's a world traveler, but, like, also, she's, like, definitely had some trash up in her, okay? You can't, you gotta, you gotta go the full spectrum, I think. I'm a big believer in that. <laughs> No, but like other than that, like but like this thing is like on the like people don't believe me when I say like I grew up in like white trash Oklahoma, but like <laughs> one of the guys that I went to high school with, like I loved him in high school. He's fantastic. He's so beautiful. But like he also at like every high school party that we went to did his like party trick, which was he could suck baby powder up his ass and then blow it out. <laughs> right? And like recently I was like, Zane, I talk about you on stage. And he goes, what are you saying? I told him that I said that. And he goes, I can still do that. You want to see? We were at a bar. Like, he was just like offering to like blow baby powder out of his ass. Like, well, he's like, I'm teaching my son how to do it. I was like, oh, oh no. Passing it forward. That's what Oklahomans do. We're nice people. We like to give. 
That's why I'm so slutty. No. <laughs> it's actually a family trait. I found that out. I have a great, great <coughs> grandmother that my grandfather says was an awful, horrible bitch of a person. So that's a family trait, too. But she also was, like, married, like, nine times in the late 1800s. Like, and none of those dudes died. You guys yeah. <laughs> were just the horses. She was just, like, fucking her way through it. Do you know how hard that was? That's not what was popular then. They would have called her a witch. So I think that fits too. I like to think that like my bitchiness is a family trait. Yeah. I'm just gonna like I'm gonna leave it on this. Like when my grandmother was like dying in the hospital, one day my my aunt was like, "Man, you're really cranky today," and she was like, "No, I'm being a bitch." And then, like, she died, like, three months later, and, like, that's my motto now, is, like, when people are like, wow, you're being, are you PMSing? No, I'm just being a bitch. It's, like, a family trait. Y'all have a good night. Thank you. Kristen Stallman, ladies and gentlemen!